Welcome back to Castlevania 3. Last time we left off, we went through a few levels, including the haunted ghost ship. Then, we beat up Frankenstein's monster. So, now, we're going to head on to the next level. Ooh, dropping a dagger this early, huh? You're really trying to troll me, aren't you, flea man? Switch back to Grant. I don't believe there's any boss in the, recent, in the near future that I need to use him on. Like I said, his ranged daggers are just so helpful. This is another track I don't know the name of. I, I, mean, I guess I don't know more of the soundtrack than I thought I did. Or, don't know as much as I thought I did. But, still know a fair amount, I'd say. Wow. I don't even know what happened there. Nice job, me. Birds, birds, go away. Now we get our first example of merman swimming as opposed to merman jumping. Well, I don't think we've entered any merman at all yet, actually, now I think about it. Ooh, life. That's helpful. Jeez, I'm down to one health already. This is not being forgiving today. See if I can't get some chicken soon. Jeez. Those mermen whooped my ass. Now I gotta get past axe armors. Even all the more fun. Flea man. Haha. <laughs> Commit suicide, you dumb bastard. Now here we'll see the first Grant shirt cut that showcases what I mean by running in front. Ta-da! I'm also gonna fight an action in my favorite way, hanging off a wall. Oop. Well, didn't think I'd get hit by that. Nice job. Oh, it's not too big a loss. At least I still had a life. Fireballs. Now this time, I'm gonna do stay all the way down here. Just clip the bottom of this hitbox. Then I don't have to worry about getting knocked around. I like how I run along the bottom, even though I had already had the entire place cleared. If I just made it over here, I wouldn't have lost that last life. More birds, what fun. First time we get to see the collapsing stairs, they show up a few places. And now we have jumping mermen. And I get knocked right off, wow. Nice, horrible reaction time, me. Well, here we see a continue screen. Let's continue. No, 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 no. Whew. That was way closer than I wanted it to be. I think the boss is going to stage next pretty soon. Wow, this is really trying to feed the noises, isn't it? Get out of here, Merman. Seriously. Yep. Bosses just around the corner. Hope I don't die. I hope I don't die. We encounter sea serpents. Axes do nice amounts of damage to them. In fact, that's already one of them dead. They're pretty easy bosses. But you always have a chance to mess up. No one's perfect. Like that, I just nice. Wow. Well, my point of this game being easy is was very relative, I guess. It's easier than the American version for sure.
I really don't want to get near the edge this time. That was a really stupid mistake that I'd rather not relive. Oh, and I'm trapped. Great. Ooh. Oh, I thought that should have been one of the heads. At least one of the heads clicked by now. Guess not. Weird. I guess I must have done, like, exactly the same damage to them. Oh, there's one. And there's the other. Got that boss on the second try. Now we're gonna get to an area with one of my favorite, with my, probably my favorite song in the game, Aquarius. I enjoy it ever so much. It reminds me of Bloody Tears, while still being completely its own great song. If you can't tell from what I mentioned in the Ioxide Let's Play before this, a video game soundtrack is one of its most important parts to me. I'm not quite an audiophile, but I'm definitely a very big music fan, so it's on the, one of my highest priorities uh, when I'm finding a good game to do is good music. Wow. Nice. I cannot catch a break today. Today is just not my day. Jeez! I swear I wasn't this bad in practice, guys. Well, honestly. I don't want to test Grant's jump arc too much. I'd rather have a shorter jump that I know I can make than a longer jump that I just might be able to make. not get killed this time. Now, there we go. Yay, you're doing it right. And now we get to the most aggravating part of this stage. Flea Man spam right here. Like, right at this top of the stairs is the worst. But, then it's not so bad you can get through that door. Another grant shortcut, if you hadn't already noticed. Like I said, grant nerfs a major portion of the game. Now this thing over here would have been for Trevor if I was playing him, because Trevor is not as agile. In fact, I think most of the other characters wouldn't be able to make the jumps that he can. Just make that jump, gives me a heart attack every time I do it. Also don't know why there's like, ship parts just floating there, but whatever. And there we get the, the red scout, red uh, whip skeletons I mentioned earlier. At least I think I did. Gets you a nice little pixelated sun setting. Another auto scroller, this time downwards. Almost all the platforms break, so that's another reason it's good to have Grant. Because you can just hang on on the bottom of the platform and they won't break. Ooh. Almost didn't make that jump. Shoot. Stupid red bastard. I'm sure that wall broke. Gonna have to be careful now. Don't think there's any health. Well, it's a good thing I can just hack my way through all these bosses like last time, as long as I'm careful. If I die, I have to restart stage again, so I'd rather avoid doing that. 
Oof. Getting a bit close for comfort. Nope. Back, back, back. Ow. Oh. Well. What do you expect? Well, this time I've got full health as opposed to next to none. So that's good. I don't know why on the ghost ship, the coffins don't open, it must have been a programming glitch or a sprite they forgot to set or something. Darn it. Oh well, still got more than enough health to deal with them. That's the only way that this boss can really damage you at all, is if you get like, three of their things flying at you and the closer one coming to you. There's boss one of three. We'll be introducing a new boss after the two that we've already seen twice now. One of them three times, the Cyclops. Same as usual, just continue to see shove daggers in his eye. Now we get into the most challenging of the three to deal with. The dragon. He is a tough cookie. He also just looks somewhat like a goat for some reason. Hop under here to dodge him. He also has the way highest health by far. It's really annoying. Sorry, I'm not talking much, I'm just trying to focus. I really hate this guy. Shoot! Oh no! Well, I think that's where I'm going to cut it today, guys. Welcome back to Castlevania 3. Last time, you got to watch me get destroyed by the same level's bosses twice. Hopefully this time I'll go into the dragon a bit better prepared. Or if not better prepared, then at least I'll weather the battle better. Oh, really? There's something there. It's just a trolling little heart, though, instead of what I need. Thanks, guys. You're a real lifesaver. Hey. Ooh, I might be in trouble. Good. Well timed. Definitely want to avoid when they got like four of them flying at me at once. Trying to be a bit more active with my dodging. Come on, you stupid mummies. I just realized I have no sub weapon. I am screwed. The dragon is only the dragon you need like three hits with a dagger just to do one point of health on. Depending on how bad it is, I might say it's through the battle. But I really don't want you to have to see that, so I might also just do it off camera. I'm not sure yet. I just need to make sure that see if I can see, at least try to beat him. Shoot, shoot, no, no, no. Yes! One minute for him jumping that way just to keep him trapped over there for a little longer. Come on, you prick. 
Ah! Fine, it's fine, just keep moving. Oh, I've got you now. Yes! Whew. Yay, I don't have to put that off to an entirely different episode. However, I'm gonna have to cut this one where it stands. Because of the fact the next episode will have me starting the other portion of the main route. So, thank you, and have a great day.